Recently, Southland's Bill Anderson was announced as a finalist at the 2012 Steinlager Rugby Awards as one of the three finalists for the Charles Munro Rugby Volunteer of the Year Award. So Q Sports thought it high time to find out the story behind the man who's done so much for so many sports. I went to St George School in 1945 and I had um, Pee Wee Payne as a, my teacher at St George who has become a, a past president of the Rugby Southland and also a person of high quality. And then and I went to Tweedsmere Intermediate School and Bill McCaw was the teacher at that school. And then I went to Southland Technical College and Dick Webb, who was administrator of Southland Rugby for a number of years. That, a bit of a sad uh, twist to that story. Sadly, yeah. None of those schools are now in existence, which means that we've got no reunions to go to in the future. All right, the transition to collegiate rugby, what was the connection there? I played for them in the primary school uh, rugby and it was great because there were some wonderful players that went to higher honours playing for that club in those days. Like who? Uh, in the uh, senior team we had uh, Lenny Wilson, Pat Lyons, uh, Ian Nuttall, uh, Gra Alec Gray and v numerous other Southland players. So a strong club? It was a strong club in those days because that was the, one of the years they won the Galbraith Shield. What was your career playing highlight? Probably playing for the curtain raiser of the 1956 Springboks in Invercargill here. And uh, we played Southern Boys High School and we were even in the competition and we drew six all and I scored a try. It was just the highlight of my career. And what was the, um, some of the memories from that day itself? It was very interesting because I lived in Miller Street, which is, is quite a wee way from Rugby Park, not too distant. And when I was coming to the park to get ready to play the game, uh, the crowd was down to Miller Street waiting for the gates to open. And they queued up for some hours before? They started assembling around between 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning. Probably the biggest crowd you played in front of? <laughs> I would think so. When you finished playing, and why did you finish playing? I broke my nose playing against a club called Borstal and that was in the days when Borstal had a team in their competitions. And Borstal being perhaps slightly wayward boys? Oh, not really. There were some wonderful people, you know, after the game we were allowed to talk to them for a while before they went back to their home of residence. All right, let's uh, move on to post-playing days. You changed sport for a while. Yes, I got heavily involved in basketball. I actually was in ba involved in basketball for 25 years, which uh, I was very thrilled. I got made a life member of that association too. In an administrative role? Yes. Mm. Yep, I was president for two, three years and uh, did all the... Uh, ref I refereed basketball too. And how strong was the sport in the province in those days? Very, very strong, like Brian Tall and... Uh, Johnny Noble and a number of older people and remember them. Did you play basketball yourself? Or I'm just trying to make the connection with basketball. Yes, I did play. I played for the Hex. And then I refereed basketball for 20-something years. Yeah. So refereeing was in the blood? Because it was. You went, did you do rugby refereeing at the same time? I started refereeing rugby in 1971 because I had been involved in softball before that and as an umpire, so <laughs> I've had a, quite an involvement in sport. So which of the three did you enjoy the most, the basketball, the uh, softball, the rugby, uh, re refereeing, umpiring? They all had their um, good points. I think uh, basketball was uh, my choice for a start, and then I chose to go to, to rugby in 1971, become a referee, and I've been a member of the Referees Association ever since. So within the association you had a number of roles, I guess? Yes, uh, in referees I was a secretary for a number of years, treasurer for a number of years, and appointment board for 15 years. And through that time, there's been some great achievements by the association. It certainly has. Uh, basketball was a great thrill for me. I organised the uh, basketball tournament down here when they had the uh, World, uh, no, the Commonwealth tournaments here and we had four teams come down here and when they had finished their four games here they didn't want to go anywhere else in New Zealand, they had such a great time. All right, in your time with the Referees Association they had um, some great success too. It was great because we had four very capable persons 
Keith Brown, Paddy O'Brien, Dave Bishop, and um, Barry Dawson. With um, many to come, many more to come. We're very, very lucky down here. We've had some very capable tutors, tutoring referees in Southland, and that has carried on. And we've got some very capable young people coming through, which we hope will go to those honours too. So let's then move to the connection with the rugby union itself, um, how that came about. I, in 1984, 84, the um, metropolitan area um, had a meeting and they formed uh, the Metropolitan Subunion. And I became their first chairman of the Metropolitan. I did that for six, uh, 12 years. And I became their delegate on the Southland Rugby Union. And I held that position to 19, no, 2004 it was. I had to think about when, how long I was there. So I was 21, uh, 23 years on the union. And in 19, uh, 2001, I was made a life member. And how did you come by your current role at Rugby Southland? I worked for PGG Rights and, or Southland Farmers in the early days and I retired uh, after 51 years with the company and I s finished on the Friday and Craig Morton and uh, Roger Clark asked if I'd like to come and work on the union as a voluntary person and I've been there s since then. Never had a a payment. I've worked there 40 hours a week most day, most during the winter season, and then I go to Central for a fair portion of the time in the summer. So, what sort of roles would you carry out in, in those duties? I've been heavily involved in the registration of rugby players in Southland, and it's very important because that is so important to a, a, a union such as Southland to, to make sure that everybody is registered. And people don't realise, but registration of rugby is very important. So if a player gets hurt and he's not registered, he's not covered by their insurance. We look back at, um, obviously, any time in your life that you haven't been involved in a sport doing something? No, there hasn't. I've been involved heavily in, in rugby, basketball, softball, uh, most of my life. So the question is why? Why give up all this time um, to a sport? Well, I think mainly because I enjoy sport, irrespective of what sport it is, I like sport. But I've been heavily involved in, in something that I've enjoyed in that sport. And it's been recognised. You've got um, several awards already, the Southland Administrator of the Year, Volunteer of the Year. How, how, do, you, um, how do you feel about those? Well. When you do something like me, you don't look at that sort of thing. They just come along. And when they come along, you're very f proud of that because you've met some wonderful people. And what was your reaction when you heard about your, your nomination for the Steinlager Awards? I was rather staggered because when you're doing what I do, you don't look for achievements. You just uh, enjoy what you do and make sure that you're doing something for sport of some situation in the province, and uh, I enjoy it. Okay, Bill, sum up the, the position, if you like, of volunteers in sport today, where so much is targeted at professionalism. Well, I think Southland in particular are very lucky with their volunteers, and volunteers are the most important thing in sport, because without them, they wouldn't be where they are today. And you've just got to look at most sports in Southland is that the capable people that are running those sports in Southland, and they've come up through the, the grades by doing the volunteering things at the very bottom and they've got to the top. And the calibre of people that are, are doing those is great. And you, there's some magnificent people uh, that are doing it. And without them, we as a province wouldn't be as good as we are.